All right. Welcome everybody. Uh, this is my weekly cooking class and uh, my name is Tara Larson and I am going to be making some really yummy and quick things tonight. So the um, first thing we're going to make is a Thai coconut chicken. So we're going to be using our Thai coconut soup mix. And then um, I'm also going to <clears throat> make some cauliflowered rice. And um, I'll be preparing uh, green beans uh, alongside of that dish. And then we're going to be making chocolate pudding cake. Yum and yum. And I'm just going to turn another light on in my uh, living room so that I have a little bit more um, light. So I'll just be two seconds here. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Okay, so <clears throat> I just um, want to introduce myself and just tell you a little bit about my backstory, just a couple minutes. Um, those of you that have already heard it, please bear with me. Um, but I've, uh, I'd like to share with people that Lemon Dilly changed my life. This little jar right here, it's one of our, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to turn that off. Someone's calling me. Probably trying to get into the meeting, but I can't help them at, at uh, this time. So anyway, so back to my story. So I've been with Epic here now for 23 years, coming up to 24 in May. And um, what I love about my job with Epicure is that I have the freedom to make my own hours. I'm just going to meet you all. A moment there. Meet all. There we go. Oh. Okay. Someone has some television in the background or something. If you want to ask questions, I will open it up at the end for questions. So, but this way um, uh, we won't have any background noise. So, um, what I love about Epicure, what I was saying is, is that I have the freedom to choose my own hours and work it around things in my life, like my golf and my um, uh, sports activities and, uh, you know, other hobbies and different things that I want to do. And also it allowed me to stay home with my little girl, Asia, who's not so little anymore. She's now in university. And, um, and that was my plan, just really, I wanted to, I'm an accountant and I was working as a controller and they wouldn't let me go part-time because it, the job really wasn't conducive to that. So I had to make a choice and I decided to stay home and pursue my Epicure business um, so many years ago. And I, I thought I'd go back to work when Asia went to kindergarten, like a lot of moms do. But by then I was making a six figure income and I was working just over 20 hours a week. So I was like, well, I don't think they're going to pay me to do accounting, uh, you know, that kind of a salary and uh, 20 hours a week. So I thought, well, I'll just keep doing this until, you know, no one's interested anymore. And again, here we are. I told you Asia's just um, uh, finished university and she's out in the working world now. And I'm still busy doing this. And what I've loved about it most recently is um, even through these crazy times um, that we're going through, I've been able to do my business from home, just like you're seeing. So this is the new... Um, new epic here. And of course, once we can gather again, we'll also be offering the live classes. And I know um, Shelly, who's on here um, from Candle River, she's hosted many classes for me. I'm so appreciative. She used to do my once a month customer classes she offered um, up her home. So I look forward to getting back to those live events as well. But right now, what is really super simple with Epicure is I do this one class every Monday. <clears throat> On occasion, it'll change to a Tuesday if there's a holiday or that kind of thing. And all my hosts can just log in here and all their guests. Hi, Linda. And, um, and then simply I'll give you an order link and your friends order through your cooking class link and you get all the free. I'm doing this class anyways. Um, so it's, that's how simple it is to, um, host your own Epicure class is just simply by inviting your friends onto this mega class that'll happen once a week. And um, 
and then yeah and then i do the follow-up so anyhow back to what we're having tonight so we're going to start off with our um thai coconut chicken so <clears throat> this is the first thing i've got and i've got the chicken i've got um, some chicken thighs in the steamer so uh, they're ready and then the super simple recipe because you know i i tell everyone i don't just teach you how to make these meals in minute packs because um i know you can all read and the thing is is if you can uh read you can cook because pretty much on the back here is the instructions on how to make thai coconut soup so I'm going to teach you how to make that on the package. This is absolutely delicious as the soup. We're going to make Thai coconut chicken though. So I always say, I'm going to teach you things you can make with it other than that. So another trick with the Epicure packs is to open them along this black line upside down. Got my handy Epicure scissors here. What I love about these is they're kitchen shears. So unlike fabric shears, they're meant to cut through kitchen type items. So um, I cut so many things that I no longer use a knife for. So I cut green beans. I cut, tonight we had bacon on our Caesar salad. So I just cut it into uh, pieces and then cooked it in the steamer. Um, almost anything I can cut with these scissors, I use them as a tool in my kitchen. And some things are so, so much easier. Like the green beans, I just line them all with my hand and I cut the ends off. So we've got our package open. I'm just gonna put it into the Epicure four cup bowl. And again, I love these because they come with silicone lids that seal. You can literally turn it upside down and it won't leak. And they're just the right size. They're a perfect salad bowl and you can put that lid on it. Um, if you have a little dressing container, you can put that in there. Um, we've also got the, of course, our smaller ones, Oops. which are these size. So you could, even put one of those in the middle of your salad with the dressing in it, and it would be great. So I'm just gonna point this down <clears throat> so that you can see what I'm doing here with my hands. So <clears throat> what we're gonna do is take the package of the Thai soup, put it into the bowl there, and then it calls for one can of coconut milk. You can use light, you can use um, regular, this is regular, and I'm just gonna add it in here. I'm using this wonderful Epicure spatula. And what I love about this is it gets, as you can see, every last bit out of any can that you're using. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my whisk, of course, Epicure whisk. What I love about this is it's sealed in here so you don't end up with, um, you know, things inside your whisk that can fall into the things that you're uh, mixing. I'm just going to get this going here. And I often whisk like this because then it works more like a beater until it's combined and then you can whisk it regular. So I've added one can of coconut milk. I'm going to post these recipes, so don't worry about writing them down. One package of our Thai coconut soup. Oh my smells so delicious. You can smell the lemongrass. That's what I love, love, love about Thai food. So now I'm taking a lemon. You'll notice this, sorry, lime. Lime has a little hole in it. And that's because this was frozen. And that allowed me to, where do you post the recipes? The recipes will be posted to the event. And they'll also be posted onto my customer group. So um, two different places they'll be posted. And if you can't find them, just message me and I'll be happy to send them to you direct. So we have our lime here. So this was frozen. And I know some of you that have come to my classes regularly know my little trick with limes and lemons, but it's that you um, poke a hole in them just like that. Just, oh look, it's the size of the Epicure silicone knife. Imagine that, that's probably what I used. And then um, <clears throat> you throw them in the freezer. And whenever you need fresh uh, citrus, uh, you just pull one out and if, you poke the hole in it, you can put it in the microwave for, um, I think I put this in for 30 seconds, and it's now 
um, thawed, or you can just leave it on your countertop and it takes about 45 minutes to thaw. So what the advantage to freezing them is though, because I know some of you be going, well, if you have fresh citrus, why would you freeze it? Well, because look, I don't know if you can see that well, but see how it's opaque. There's no longer all the fibers and the dividers and that kind of thing. So then when I put it into the Epicure citrus press here, and you'll notice it goes upside down. A lot of people think, well, that makes sense, right? No, it'll squirt up and you'll have a citrus facial, so you don't want that. So I'm gonna put it in upside down like that, and then look at all the juice that comes out. You can really give it a squeeze, and you'll see you're pretty much left with a peel. And I just throw those down my garburator because they are great for um, freshening up the scent of your um, of your garburator because you know they can start to smell after a while. So I'm just going to give it one more little mix here. So that was half of a lime that it called for. And then you want to marinate your chicken in this. So I've got my chicken in my steamer. I'm just going to pour this onto the top of it and there we go using my beautiful spatula here you can see it gets almost everything out of there i'm just going to make sure it's all covered voila and you could probably i've only done four um uh, chicken thighs is what we've done, but you could do chicken breasts. This would keep them quite moist. Um, and you could do probably up to eight. There's a lot of sauce you can see. So all I'm going to do with that now is throw a lid on it because it's um, past dinner time. I am going to throw that in the fridge and I'm going to, um, that's our dinner for tomorrow night. So it'll be marinating. So now you can do one or two things. You can put that in the oven and bake it that way. You can put it in the microwave and cook it that way. And you can grill it, pull it out after it's been marinated and grill it. And then you would take your sauce <clears throat> and you would um, boil it. And the multi-pot, our little multi-pot would be great for that. So I'm just gonna grab that. There we go. So this little multi-pot, I would dump the juice in there and I would boil it so that you can use it as a sauce over your chicken, but because it has raw chicken in it, you have to cook the sauce. So if you're gonna take the meat out and grill it, that's how you'd still be able to use the sauce. So if you're doing it in the um, oven, uh, 425 for 25 minutes, in the microwave, oh, probably 10 minutes. It doesn't take long at all. We all know, um, you know, like uh, four pieces of chicken without the sauce on it in the microwave would be about eight minutes. So I'd, I'd say 10, but all you have to do is, you know, try it for 10 and then check it. So got my dinner for ready for tomorrow night. And now <clears throat> um, you could put this on top of rice and that sauce would be beautiful over top of rice. Um, and I'm going to make some really quick riced cauliflower. So this is really good for people that are um, wanting more vegetables in their diet, or if um, you're watching your carb intake, which is what I'm doing. So I make up this riced cauliflower, and I'll show you how easy it is to do on Epicure's uh, mandolin. So this mandolin comes with four different attachments. They're really easy to um, change in and out. I'll just show you that bit. You just pop it, there's a little hole right here. You pop it out, put it back in, you just pop it back in. So I've got it on the julienne, the large one, because I want to make um, this cauliflower rice. So I've got this little piece right here. Now all of you might be going, oh my gosh, your fingers. Well, no worries on that because I have the little, um, I don't know what you call this, little poker or whatever that keeps my fingers out of the way. So all I do is go like this and press it down as I'm doing that. And do that. You'll see instant cauliflower rice. So don't pay 
for that at the grocery. Do you know how much extra they cost or they charge you when it's processed? That's how easy it is to do. Just use um, a julienner and then you just, it takes minutes and I would fill that full. And then of course you have a couple of choices again. So you can just steam that, it takes minutes in the microwave. It's about um, four minutes if that was full. And of course, um, it doesn't make it watery because we don't add water to our steamers, for those of you that are familiar with them. These steamers are absolutely wonderful for vegetables, for meats. Um, they come with cards, and people always ask me, how do you keep track of those cards? Oh, look at that. I tape them inside my uh, cupboard, and then when I'm going, okay, how long does cauliflower take? Four cups? Oh, four minutes. There we go. Uh, baby potatoes, six minutes. Um, salmon fillets, four to six minutes. Can you imagine having dinner ready that fast? And fish in this steamer is incredible. I've made shrimp, I've made crab. It takes three minutes and it doesn't boil all the flavor out of it. It's amazing. So lots of things you can use these for. I make um, lasagna and things that generally boil over in the large steamer as well because you end up with a, a lot of room so it doesn't boil over. Um, the cake that we're going to be making tonight, I'm going to make that in the uh, steamer as well. And of course for vegetables, uh, corn on the cob, like one minute per piece and it's perfectly steamed. And you'll think like, oh geez, this is the best corn I have ever tasted. Not so. Well, it might be because you steamed it, but it's because you didn't boil all the flavor out of it. So. Lots of good uses for the steamer. And I'd love when I open it up at the end for questions, if any of you have um, things that you use it for that you'd like to share with the group, that's some of the fun of coming onto these classes too. So what I do though, is I like flavor in my cauliflower rice. Um, now, because we're having a sauce with this one, I wouldn't add anything into it because that's going to add the flavor. Um, so I can steam it. And then if you like it fried, like a kind of like a fried rice, you could throw it into a um, saute pan and give it a quick fry with a tiny little bit of butter or some uh, nonstick spray and um, do it that way. Or sometimes when I'm just steaming it, which is likely what I'll do when it's with my chicken with that sauce, um, because... I think that that would go, it would be like a white rice. And if I was having it on its own um, and not with a sauce on top, I add the Epicure Nourish broth, which is chicken broth. We're just uh, FDA standards, you're not allowed to um, call it that. So we have to call it Nourish broth, but it's a uh, chicken broth. And we've had for years, very popular item. I know a lot of you ladies I see on here, I know that you know, love it and use it. Why do you want to use the Epicure one? Well, first of all, it's a dried mix. So to use it on the cauliflower rice, I don't want to add water. I would just simply sprinkle it on and it's going to give it that chicken stock flavor. Um, you can add a teaspoon and a half to a cup of water and you have instant broth whenever you want it. Some people even just like to drink it, you know, mid afternoon when you're like, oh, I don't, I don't want any tea. I've had my coffee for the day. I just want something warm. You could have, a cup of nourish broth. Um, we do have some other um, flavors as well. We have a vegetable and a miso. I think the beef is still on um, uh, sell out right now. Okay, so um, there's our cauliflower rice. I, I'll do the rest of that later because that's what we'll be having with it. And then I'm going to take another steamer and I don't have them out because I'll prepare them in two seconds tomorrow with my Epicure scissors. I'm going to pull the green beans out. I give them a wash, slip the, or cut the ends off, and I throw them into another little steamer. And pretty much, um, whether I grill or whether I bake or whether I do it in the microwave, the chicken and the vegetables, it's all going to be ready inside of 20 minutes. So super simple. I can live without my steamers. I just don't have the patience, nor do I want to boil all the nutrients out of my vegetables because I'm boiling them or steaming them. Water steaming still pulls your nutrients out. So, um, oh, the other thing I, I don't want to forget about today, for lunch, we tried this wintry mushroom soup. 
oh my goodness, it was so easy. And of course, uh, when it was lunchtime, I was uh, <clears throat> saying to my fella, um, oh, do you want some soup? And he's like, yeah. So he's looking like in the cupboard for, I don't know, Campbell's. I don't know why he's looking in our cupboards for that. But I'm like, no, I'm going to make it from scratch. And he's like, oh, you know, I'm really hungry. Like, you know, he's, he's thinking hours. And I'm like, this is as fast as I can fry some mushrooms. You literally, I fried up uh, three cups of mushrooms. And um, next time I'd probably use some onion too, um, cause I like onion. And then I used uh, cashew milk cause I don't um, have uh, dairy. I don't do dairy. And uh, cashew milk I find tastes is close to milk um, and it's unsweetened variety, um, but it's creamier. So it's almost like a whole milk, but of course it doesn't have any of the calories in it. And then I dumped in, um, it was three and a half cups of that. And you bring it to a boil and your soup's ready. That's how quick. I mean, you can't get any quicker than that. So, well, I guess you could open a can of something or other, but let's get back to why you want to use Epicure because our sodium in our mushroom soup, it's 190 milligrams per serving. I can't, I don't know what's in the Campbell style and stuff like that, but I know it's a heck of a lot more unless you buy the low sodium kind. And even that's not as low sodium as this. And if you're allowed to have salt, of course, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a grind of, I'll just grab it. Voila, the Epicure sea salt. So it's a grinder on top. You just tip it upside down and grind, grind, grind. So <clears throat> I love this because sea salt is much healthier for you than, uh, you know, a ground table salt variety. We also have ground, um, unground black pepper, and we also have the um, turmeric and black pepper. You know, if you add turmeric to black pepper, every, it makes everything work uh, better together. Okay, so next, so that's my dinner. There's my dinner for tomorrow night. Um, I can't wait to take, I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm really, really excited to try it. So <clears throat> the next thing that I want to talk about, <clears throat> and again, I'm going to describe how you make it. So you've got these two items. We've got our um, Chocolatey Temptation cupcakes. So good. And of course, I don't know if I, I mentioned, but if, um, most of you know, but Epicure is 100% gluten-free. We are uh, almost 100% now non-GMO. And of course, we have a huge list in our catalog of our never ever uh, list. What I like about Epicure products is when you read the ingredients, there's nothing chemical on here. You can understand everything. It's like, oh, organic cocoa, baking soda, uh, baking powder, cornstarch, rice flour, organic cane sugar, and why do you want to use our dessert mixes? If you're not gluten-free, you might go, well, I don't need gluten-free. Or I've had gluten-free and this is terrible. Ours, you would not know that these muffins were gluten-free. They are so moist. It's like a devil's food cake. Anyways, um, why do you want to use ours? Quarter of the sugar of the store-bought. And absolutely delicious. So what I'm going to make tonight is... I'm going to describe to you how to use our steamer and make a um, chocolatey pudding cake. So what you do is you prepare the cupcake cake mix, and you can make this in the Epicure cake pan or in our um, muffin pan. I've got those right down here. Silicone muffin pan. And what I like about this is you pop your muffins right out. You can always also use this to divide things like um, tomato, um, tomato sauce or if you had leftover coconut milk or things like that. These are half a cup. So it's like a half cup measure. So whenever, you know, something calls for a half a can of tomato sauce or a half a can of this, you can portion it out and then I put this in my freezer. Once it's frozen, I pop those pucks out, put it into a Ziploc bag, nothing goes to waste. So what we're going to do with the chocolate cake is we're going to put it into our Epicure large steamer, mix it up like it says. What do you add? Well, and you can read this right off the bat, but it's got some <clears throat> um, milk and you can use milk alternatives as well. Uh, third of a cup of oil, one teaspoon apple cider vinegar in the mix. 
Okay, so we mix all that up, use that nice Epicure whisk, and then we're gonna take the um, chocolate pudding, prepare it as it is, and whisk in uh, the milk, and <clears throat> it takes, if you were just gonna eat this, I portion it into our prep cup bowls, and then put our little silicone lids on them, and if you push it in like this, it seals so that you can literally turn it upside down and even liquid won't come out, but they, they nest. So you can stack them, and you can have like four little pudding cups in there. What I like about ours is it's dairy-free, unless you add dairy. The store-bought mixes have dairy in the mix. So that might not be important to you, but if it is, that's great. So once I've prepared the pudding, and I would do that in the uh, four cup bowl there, the cake mixes in my steamer. I'm gonna pour the pudding over top. And then, and I will be posting this recipe. I've just got it right here in my photos, warm pudding cake, it looks delicious. Um, all I'm gonna do is, uh, it's in the oven uh, for 350 and you bake it 55 minutes. You don't have to worry about it bubbling over or anything because you have lots of room in your steamer here. And you remove and let it cool for about 20 minutes and you can serve it warm with ice cream or you can just serve it warm and you don't really even need anything because of the pudding mix on top. So that just sounds absolutely delicious to me and I will be making that for Valentine's Day because it will be a special treat. Because as I mentioned, I'm watching my sugar and my carbs, so I'll allow myself a treat on um, Valentine's. So I'm just going to unmute it here. I see there's two questions on the chat. Is there dairy in the soup mix? You know that is a good question, and I'm not sure. Just let me read it to see if it's obvious, because um, it might be. Let me see. And sea salt. You know what? It doesn't. It had no. It's got uh, uh, no. There's no uh, dairy at all. So that's a good question, Linda. In the soups, but I do have a list of what's dairy free. Okay, so I'm just going to close this again, and I'm going to unmute you all. So hopefully no one's got a loud television on or something. Anyways, does anybody have any questions before I tell you about what, uh, what's on sale and the specials this month? Okay, all right. So this, and it's on its way to me. I can't wait. Tapanaki sauce. Oh my goodness. It's like that steak sauce that you get at Japanese restaurants. Mm -hmm. And you can make your own. We've had consultants saying that they have eaten entire jars of this already. <laughs> so I've got three coming because I love this in those Japanese restaurants. And they said there's just all kinds of ways that you can use this with the Epicure crispy lettuce wraps, which is one of my next classes coming up. Um, you can use it on your steak. You can use it on chicken. Apparently they say it's just good. To, you can make it and eat it. <laughs> But I don't know, I'd be putting it on something, I think. Anyways, that's an exclusive this month, Taste Test, it's called. And it's $8.95 in Canada, $8.50 in the U.S. So um, there's both of those. Okay, and then for this month, our host exclusive is uh, that steamer, this beautiful steamer that we've been talking about that so many people want. And a lot of people host a class because you can get your steamer as part of one of these collections. And this month you get it, um, the host exclusive gets uh, fr chicken fried rice and the general tie, and then also the multi-purpose steamer for $39.95 Canadian or $34.95 US. Well, the steamer is over 50, so what a deal that is. That's exclusive to the host. And maybe you're thinking about March, and in March we have vegetable savers for your fridge. And it keeps your vegetables, um, you can uh, prep them, and it keeps them uh, fresh a whole lot longer. And then, of course, I can't forget to talk about our 30-day meal collection. 
So if you're using any kind of food service like a HelloFresh or um, maybe you're getting prepared meals from the grocery store, Epicure can really help you with that because we have a 30 day meal plan. It comes with um, 30 meals. Ours works out to under $3 a meal. And also um, you get a menu planner and you get four grocery lists. It does it all for you. And sometimes um, I've gotten the question, well, what if I get something that I don't like? And it's like, well, the food bank loves that. So if you get, you know, I don't know, beef and broccoli and you're like, oh, I just can't stand beef and broccoli. Well, gift it to someone or give it away. A lot of our meals make more than four servings. They're four servings or more. So I know that Vicki, you asked the question, well, what do I do? You know, like I don't want to eat the same thing four days in a row. So I have a couple of different um, solutions I have around that because that's often me. So I usually make enough so that I have one dinner and one lunch because a 30 day meal plan is dinners. So you still need to take care of lunch. So I'll have it one night and then the next day or the next day after I'll have that as my lunch. And then I take two portions, unless I've invited someone over, there's someone else to eat it. And I portion them out and I spoon them into Ziploc bags. You know, the little, like these style, they're a freezer variety one. And I, sorry? A quart size. Quart size, quart. yeah. So you spoon it in there and then I zip it tight shut and then I lay it out flat so that they're literally, um, I mean, you can fit them into um, any size freezer. And then I just mark on it, you know, that it's a African sweet potato stew or it's, you know, whatever it is. Maybe in this case, it'll be this chicken. And then when I come home and I really don't even feel like making a meal in under 20 minutes, it's so easy with Epicure, but maybe I'm just like, I just want to eat right now. All you do is you pull out, you know, and I get a variety of them going. So I'm like, oh, what do I feel like? Oh, that's good. I pull it out. You rip the plastic bag off. You peel it off the outside of your frozen product. I put it in my steamer and literally I am usually eating within five minutes. So that's a really, really good option. And also for lunches. So like I said, you still have the lunch option. So I'll come and go, you know what? I've got five minutes, I'm working. I don't have time to prepare something in the kitchen, even a sandwich. I'm just gonna float one of my frozen entrees. It's like having like, you know, the lean cuisine is in your freezer, but you know it's healthy and it's not full of chemicals and it's super quick. So lots of ideas on that. And of course, um, if you have a family larger than four, um, you could use, um, two packs and what it would be is uh, it would be 15 days of Epicure meals and um, or you could double up as well because you'd have to do that with any other meal delivery service. Here's the big clincher. Why do you want to use Epicure? Ours is under three dollars. Most of the national ones out there are nine to eleven dollars. So um, you can really save and you're making it yourself. You know what's in it. And you've bought the groceries yourself. And a lot of people now with what's going on, and um, they've learned how to online order their groceries and you rather drive up and they come and drop them into the back of your car or yeah. there's delivery services too. So you can just make it super, super simple. So, um, and, uh, so what you want to do is, um, I have a club uh, where you get yours um, uh, shipped to you um, the first day of each month. And then I have a special, um, offer there. And though this, uh, class is open to, um, to everyone. So what you want to do is you want to talk to the consultant that invited you here and that's who you would order through or the host. If you're with one of the host um, classes tonight, you want to talk to your host, um, and, or her consultant and, um, and they'll be able to give you more information on that. So, let me see here. I've just got my list. I don't want to forget to tell you guys anything. So again, if you're wanting to host your own class, it's super simple. You're Siri, on here. I couldn't hear what you said. Oh, Siri, I'm in the middle of the class. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so uh, all you have to do is 
you're on here right now, we'll invite some friends along and I'll give you an order link. It's that easy. Um, this is also a, a fundraiser for um, a local organization here. I've posted information up about that. But um, yeah, super easy peasy. And I also do um, fundraisers. So you can ask me for more information on that. And if you know anyone that's looking for a, um, a business that flourishes, we grew the Larson National Organization or Global Organization last year grew 65%. I'm so grateful we were able to help so many people with their cooking needs. I mean, I think of the young girls that they were like, I have to cook three times a day, how am I gonna do that? When maybe their skills weren't up to par, or I, I think about um, you know people um, my age or even a little older where maybe you're on your own or maybe there's two of you and you're like, oh, now I have to cook every night. Um, or you lack inspiration because you know that we all get into a kind of a thing where it's like, okay, Tuesday's taco night, Wednesday's this night, we're gonna have meatloaf on Thursday. And, and you're like, okay, I've eaten home so many times. I think I've cooked a thousand times this month and I need something new and some inspiration. And you wanna know that it turns out too. So, so um, like I said, get back with the consultant um, or host that invited you here tonight and let them know what Epicure option interests you. So is there any questions before we close this class? So if I don't want to go through the hassle of doing it online, I can just call you Tara or send you an email? Absolutely. So um, this is the thing. So there's an online link. However, um, if you just want to send your list, and I just say you can write it out and take a picture or you can type it up, you can whatever you like. You can take pictures of the catalog and just send me pictures. Um, make it as easy for you as possible. I will enter it on my side or the consultant that invited you here will enter it on her side and they will get back to you with a total. Then you can choose how you want to pay. We take credit card um, in Canada or e-transfer and in uh, the US it's debit or credit. So okay. that's how easy it can be done. Well, I know I want to try the one month plan. You want to try the one month plan, Vicki? Yep. Awesome. Well, um, after I'm done this class here, I will get that written up and I will send you back a total and then we can clear up then. And a carrot cake. And a carrot cake. Oh, <laughs> carrot cake so good. That looks so good in the catalog. It is delicious and it's so super moist and, and you put a bunch of carrot in it so it's like you're getting your veggies but it doesn't taste like veggies. veggies. Best way to eat your veggies. <laughs> I think so, I think so. In cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got my veggies today, I had some carrot cake. <laughs> yeah. There we go, okay, anybody else? All right, and I wanna congratulate um, uh, I see Helen's on here. She was one of my um, monthly draw winners. So um, I've got some more information on that on my site. If you have not joined my Epicure VIP group, please do. Um, we can't make um, special offers public. So if you want special offers, that's the group you want to be in because um, that's where you'll see them. And I will post that link up so that you can just click on it. Um, and thank you all for coming on. I'm having so much fun with this. And um, next week, I'm going to be back on again on Monday. So I will see you all then. Thank Bye. you. Thanks, Tara. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Bye.